Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Dani and today I have another unboxing haul for you. So if you watched my last book haul, I mentioned that I'm going to film my book hauls slash unboxings uh, in separate clips and the main reason for that is because I received the Owlcrate and Fairy Loot boxes during the month and I don't want to wait until all of them are here for me to film the video because I want to open them and I want to see what's inside. So that's why I'm splitting things up. So Alcray Jr. just arrived today and I'm very excited to open this. I have seen I haven't seen any spoilers for the box, so I have no idea what's in here. The theme was Schools of Wonder, if I'm not mistaken, so there's going to be Nevermore items and I think Amari and the Night Brothers items as well, which I'm so excited for. I love the, those books so much. And the book that comes here that's going to come in this box is probably really good as well. So this clip is going to be for the Alcray Jr. unboxing and you will see that the video is going to be a bunch of different clips in different days with different unboxings. If you're interested in subscribing to Alcrate or Alcrate Jr., I have a link, a uh, code, sorry, in the description. It's current 15. You get 15% off either subscription if you're interested or both. So let's see what's in the box. Ta-da! Oh my god. Lots of paper as usual. And like I said, the theme is Schools of Wonder. And I'm not going to read what's on the back because I don't want to see. But it's really cute, the drawing. Okay. So the first item is, oh, this is cute. It's like a pencil case, but it's very different. Oh my God. This is really cool. So you can, you can carry it in two ways. This is probably too cool. There we go. So you can make it smaller or you can pull it and have a large pencil case. This is really cool. I love the drawing. Like I always mention, Alcrate Jr. is a middle grade box, so it has a lot of items curated for kids, but usually the items are really cool for anyone. And I really like this. It's really nice to just put it away when I'm not using it, but also it carries normal sized things. So really, really cool. And then we have the Book of Ghostly Hours. Learn the wondrous arts of the accomplished wondersmith. So this is definitely inspired by Nevermore or Wondersmith, I guess, the second book in the series. And let's take a look. Oh, this is really cool. So it has this pad here for notes. It has a lot of pages. And then this other one that says, this has nothing, it has a drawing in it. And then the ones on the top with some stuff in it. Location, participants, events, date, and time. This is really cute. I really like it. It doesn't look so much like Nevermore, like the series. So, I don't know. I would, I would not associate this color with Nevermore. It's a cool idea. I just wish it was a different color. Oh, we have a second book. This is awesome. Okay. The second book is A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula Le Guin. Kay Le Guin. And I have not read this book, I don't own it, so I'm really excited. Because last time they sent uh, Alice in Wonderland, which I own, I've read multiple times. Uh, so I'm really excited for this one. This is really cool and it's a really cute edition, a really cute size. Oh, I'm so excited! I love when they send two books in a box, obviously, but especially when it's a book that I have been interested in, but not, I bet I don't own. And now we have an envelope. That says, are you an ever or a never? This is really hard to say. Uh, but it is inspired by School for Good and Evil, which I have not read, but it is one that I would be interested in reading. And, oh, I remember when they mentioned this. I don't even know how to use it exactly, but it is a book, uh, not a book sleeve, a book cover. So you put, in the book, let me see if it would work in this one, so I can show you. I don't know how to put this on a book. Let me grab Nevermore, because it probably, like a hardcover would probably be easier. But if it's small for a hardcover. I don't know how this is supposed to work. But basically it is to protect the covers, and it looks really cute. I just have to figure out how to put it on the book without damaging the book. Because the point is to protect the book, but if I damage it while I'm trying to put it on, you, you get what I mean? 
so I don't know how this works. Oh, we have a pencil which says California Academy of Sciences. I cannot. Oh, this says science. Okay, this is really hard to read. This is cute. Always useful. I love when they send pencils that have a razor on the other side because I always forget where I put my razor. So this is very, very useful. And now we have the book. It is called The Marvelers by Danielle Clayton. I think I remember this name. I don't know if the author wrote something else, but we'll, we'll see. Let's, let me open it. Okay, so this is what the book... Oh, this is worse because it's very shiny. There you go. This is what the book looks like. It's really cute. And this is the character card that comes in all our Crate Junior boxes this year. And it has this and papers. It doesn't have a reversible dust jacket this time, but it has gorgeous end papers. It's the same on the other side. And this book is about a girl, 11 year old girl called Ella, Ella Duran. Uh, she's the first conjurer to attend the school in the clouds that's called Arcanum Training Institute. And there, people don't really trust her power too much because she's the first one to have that power. And it reminds me a lot of Nevermore. And I'm already very excited for this book, but people don't trust her. And then this really evil guy escapes from prison and people are saying that he had the aid of a conjurer to escape. So she is now a suspect in his escape and we go from there. I also really love what the book looks on the side. Because when we have the rest of the series, I'm, yeah, this has, has number one here. When you have the rest of the series, it's going to look really cool side by side. And that's, that's always awesome. So let me see if we have anything else here, but I think that was it. We have the theme for the next box, with this, which is Campfire Stories. And it's going to be a heartwarming contemporary mystery with a super fun summer camp backdrop. Really excited. Now let's take a look at this spoiler sheet to see what I missed. So we have the extra book, A Wizard of, of Earth's, Earthsea, uh, the reversible fabric book cover. It's reversible. Why is it reversible? Oh, just because you can put it on each side. Okay. I thought you, can, you could turn it inside out, but no. Then we have the pencil case, which is not inspired by anything specific. Uh, we have the, mood, the memory spell mood pencil, which is inspired by the worst witch. I don't... I don't know if this is something of the book or what it means for this to be a memory spell mood pencil. We have the Ghostly Hours Reading Kit, which is inspired by Hollow Pox. Uh, okay, so not even Wondersmith. This is inspired by the third book in the Nevermore series. Oh my god, everything's solid. Uh, and this, I didn't realize, was like a reading kit. So it's really cool because the tabs on the top, you can put it on the book just to remember and like tag things that are happening in the book. So that's really really interesting. And then I have the book and the character card. Uh, the book is also ha also signed and is it signed or is it printed? The signature looks printed in the book but I don't care either way. Uh, and it also says that it, the letter from the author is bounded in the book. Here it is. Which is really cool. I just mentioned on the previous one that I thought it would be cool for more books to come with a letter bounded in the book. And they did that for this one, so it's awesome. And that's it for this box, but not for this whole video. So you're soon going to see the next one, which I haven't received yet. Okay, before we go to the next clip, which was supposed to come in this here right now, uh, my husband <laughs> figured out how to put the book cover thing because he's smarter than me. Uh, so <laughs> I figured out this is Nevermore, which is the, like I said, one of the shorter books that I own. And it really does look really cute. Like, and it fits very well. So the thing, you have to remove the cardboard thing that can, that comes inside it, and you can actually really stretch this, this thing. So I, I thought it would have to be the size of the cardboard because I wasn't removing it. I thought it would have to stay there. Anyway, this is how it works and I like it. It looks super cute and it's really nice to hold. So now we can go to the next box. So today I received Owlcrate and Fairy Loot the same on the same day. I'm going to start with Fairy Loot because it's just one book. So this is the adult only, the adult book only box from Fairy Loot. And 
I am pretty sure the book is Book of Night by Holly Black, which I'm very excited to read. I haven't read anything by Holly Black before, but everyone talks about it, right? <laughs> the theme was Into the Shadows, and there are a lot of paper. So every book by Fairload comes into in this pouch, and I never know the correct way to open it to show it to you. So let's just do it really quickly. Ha! Okay. <laughs> This looks really cool. So it is very similar to the original cover. Someone mentioned in my previous uh, Fairy Loot unboxing that Fairy Loot was just making all the black covers white in their original, their yeah, the original covers. Well, their exclusive covers, that's the word I'm looking for. But this one they didn't. The original one is black and this one is also black. So I'm going to put here side by side the original and Fairy Loot. It is very, very similar. It's all black on the sides. Again, no stencil edges. Oh, but this is awesome. This is so gorgeous. And the back and paper is like this. This is really pretty. And the naked book is so pretty. Oh my god. So this is the naked cover and the back of it. This is really awesome. I'll probably just leave it like that because it looks so cool. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's there's like some wisps of smoke or something like that here in the in the background. So I really love this naked cover. So I know Holly Black is the author of The Crow Prince a series trilogy, but I haven't read that one and this is her first adult book and what it is about, I don't remember. Charlie Hall has never found a lock she couldn't pick, a book she couldn't steal or a bad decision she wouldn't make. So I'll just read the last paragraph here. Uh, determined to survive, she's up against a cast of doppelgangers, mercurial, mercur mercurial billionaires, glomists and the people she loves best in the world, all trying to steal a secret that will give them a vast and terrible power. Very exciting, very interesting. It's not very long, which is good. It's nice to have some shorter books sometimes, uh, shorter adult fantasies. I'm not sure if it's a series or a standalone, but that's it. That's the Fair Loot adult box. The gold looks really awesome as well. I don't know which one I prefer, just like with a dust jacket or without it, but it looks really pretty. So now let's open our crate. Like I said, my code for our crate is in the description. So let's just see what this one is about, what comes in this box. I don't remember, it is quite heavy. Uh, I think the theme was the chosen ones. Am I right? Yes, the chosen ones, that's it. Oh, we got the first, the second bow in the Lord of the Rings series of bows that they're making. We got the first bow in January box, I think, and I use it so much. They're really good and I, I mentioned before that I wasn't Oh, I'm not even the camera. I mentioned before that I wasn't sure if they could go on the dishwasher and they can. I put on mine on the dishwasher multiple times. So let's see what this one looks like. Oh, it's about the Shire. The first one it was inspired by the dwarfs and this one is inspired by the Shire. Which is my favorite place probably ever. And it says here in the bottom, courage is found in unlikely places. This is gorgeous, I love it, and I'll get a lot of use out of it, and I'm gonna put it nicely in my kitchen because I don't wanna risk it breaking. <laughs> okay, that's already my, my favorite item of the box, but let's see what else we got. Ooh, pen, Greek myths pen set, inspired by the Song of Achilles. These are really pretty as well. This is what they look like. They're very, very pretty. I'm assuming they're like black or blue. Let's try it. Yeah, black and black. Awesome, very useful, will definitely be used. I'm already loving this box so much. Then we have the literary luggage pin that comes in every uh, YA box for our crate. And this one says Terrasen. I forgot what this is supposed to be inspired by, and I... Oh, it says here in the back, Thrown a Glass, okay. 
So this one is inspired by Throne of Glass, which I have not read. But it's so pretty. I really like how they look all together. Like I'm putting them all in this banner that also came on our crate. Uh, so all of them together is just really, really pretty with some other random stuff. Next we have a box that is clearly inspired by A Darker Shade of Magic by Vishwa, but I, I don't know what, what's in here. Oh, this is weird. Looks like ornaments. Okay, this is just like decorative, decorative thing. Uh, each letter, each circle has a letter that spells uh, Astrovars, is that it? Which is a word that they use in that book and I don't remember what it means anymore. But this is cool, I just don't have anywhere to put it. I'm going to get a new bookshelf soon, so maybe with more space for my books I'll have more space for decoration as well. Um, but it looks pretty. I just don't have a place to put it. And now we have a case with something inside. Okay. What is in here? A game. Oh, this is, it's like chess. It's a chess board, okay? Uh, and these are chess pieces. I didn't realize before, but this is cool. It's like a travel kit for chess. It's really cute. I don't know what it is inspired by. I'll see in the spoiler sheet in a second, but I really like how it looks and it's just really cute and nice to travel with. Because you just go like this and you can put it in your purse or your backpack or something. Now we have a bookmark that says, one must not fear fire to yield it. You may not be able to change the past, but with each action you can change the future. It is very pretty. It's not a wooden bookmark or anything, just like a normal cardboard bookmark, uh, but always useful. And now we have the book. It is called Ballad and Dagger, an Outlaw Saints novel by Daniel Jose Older. I have never heard of this before. We have the author letter here with a really cool map thing. The book is signed, of course. Ooh, and it looks really cool. So, oh, oh, I love this cover. So we have the <laughs> the reversible dust jacket that has an actual cover looking picture in it that I like much more than this one, honestly. I don't know if which one is the original, more closely uh, like the original cover, but I like that one much better. And look at this. It's all purple and it has a bunch of really cool stuff. So it says here in Spanish, I'm not going to attempt, should I attempt to read Spanish? We can try, don't judge me. Uh, Escucha al mundo, a tu propio... I'm like trying to say this in French at the same time that I'm reading it in Spanish. I'll just read the English thing. Uh, listen to the world, to your own heart, your spirit, your song. And here it says, every song has its beating heart. This is interesting. Let's see what it is about. Almost 16 years, years ago, Mateo Matisse, I, Ma, Mateo Matisse's island, homeland, disappeared into the sea. The survivors of Saint Madrigal escaped to New York, while the rest of his tiny Brooklyn diaspora community dreams of someday finding a way back home. Mateo, now a high school junior and piano prodigy living with his two aunts, one who's alive and the other not so much, is focused on one thing, getting the attention of locally grown music legend Gerval. This is, look, sounds like a very unique premise. I'm already going to put the, the other cover of the book because this one is so much prettier. So this is what it looks like with the other cover, which again, I love it so much more. Let's see this spoiler card in the booklet to see what's the difference between this cover and the original cover. So the regular cover had the background with some flowers and the owl crate has this purple building. Both of them are not nearly as beautiful and as the reversible dust jacket cover, so that's the one I'm going with. And let's take a look at the spoiler sheet. So we have the literary luggage pen inspired by Throne of Glass. We have the bow that is from the Lord of the Rings collection. We have the travel chest that is inspired by the Raven Cycle. I haven't read that, uh, so I didn't recognize it. 
And in the booklet that comes in the box, there are there's more information about the design of the chest thing. Then we have the wall banner, wooden wall banner, uh, inspired by a darker shade of magic. The bookmark is inspired by Jade Fire Gold. The pants, which are inspired by the Song of Achilles. And the book with a reversible dust jacket and the exclusive foiling on the on the hardcover. So those are all the items, all the boxes for this video, all the books, unboxings, everything. Uh, and definitely my favorite item from everything was the bow. That was the Lord of the Rings collection. I can't wait to get all of them. They're, they look so pretty. Let me know what your favorite item of this whole video was and which book sounds more interesting to you. I think from this whole video, the book that I'm more curious to read is the one that came on Alcrate Jr. That one sounds super cute and so much like Nevermore. I think I'm going to love it. But I'm also curious to read both of the ones that I just unboxed. I've heard not so great things about Book of Night, but I'm curious and I will give my own thoughts when I finally get to it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and thank you so much for joining me. Bye!